Hi guys, welcome back. This is Chris again, and we are now in our fourth installment of creating a website with HTML with no special software whatsoever. What we're about to do now is bump up the banner wrapper or the banner container to the top of the page. We're going to bring it all the way to the top and we'll bring the content container so that way it's touching the bottom of the browser here. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open up my word processing program to get back to the HTML code. And the first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the actual body tag. Okay? So I'm going to end the olive with a semicolon there. And I'm going to add margin dash top colon zero for the zero position, which is the top. And then I'm going to end that with the semicolon. And I'm also going to say margin dash bottom colon zero semicolon. So that way the page goes all the way down to the bottom. So that's all we need to do there. Let's see what that looks like. Save and refresh. Alright, so you can see how now the the banner wrapper for that table is bumped up all the way to the top and the final table, that last table for the content, is already at the bottom. Okay, so we'll use that layout moving forward. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, now that we've taken care of the margins for the top and bottom, is we're going to practice um, creating what they call comments um, in HTML code. And a comment is basically an area that's a benign um, piece of code that actually doesn't get read by the browser. It's really just for you to keep yourself organized when you're looking at code. And if you remember, this first table is your content for your banner. Okay, this is your shell for your banner. So if you go above the, ba of, above the table and you start out with an open bracket and then you want the exclamation point and then dash dash and then you can say whatever you want at this point about what this next section of code is. So we're going to just say banner and then to end the tag, it's another dash dash and then close your bracket. So again, as long as you have this structure for this tag, this is considered a comment tag. And again, it's not read by the browser. Nothing actually will display in the browser relating to this. It's just for you to organize yourself um, inside the code. So just to give you an example, I'm going to save this and refresh and you can see how nothing has changed on the physical page. So let's go ahead and comment the next table which is right here and if you remember that second table was for our navigation so again I'm gonna say open bracket exclamation point dash dash and then this one's going to be navigation and then another dash dash, close your bracket. And I'm just going to space this out even more. Okay, again, it doesn't matter how much space I have in between here. That's not uh, rendered by the browser. So, again, I'm just going to space it out as much as I can. So that way it's more aesthetically pleasing for me while I'm working. Okay, so now I have a banner section a navigation section, and then this last one was for content, so I'll do one more comment tag here. Okay? 
That looks good. I'm going to save and refresh. And you can see none of those comments are visible on the page. It's just a really handy feature that you might find yourself using from time to time. Okay, finally, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to start defining um, the area inside of your navigation and split these up into four separate cells um, that will represent four buttons, a home button, an about us button, um, maybe an FAQs button, and then a contact us. So we'll split this up in four equal parts. So we're going to need a few columns here. Okay, right now we have a table for our navigation, but it's really just one row and one column. So we're going to turn this into four column table here. Okay. So let's look at the code for the navigation. So right now, if you remember in the last activity, we saw that this was a table row and this is ends the row. And then in the middle, the TD means uh, that's like one column. Okay. Right now, I'm going to just add some text inside of that column. I'm just going to say button one. Okay. And let's see what happens once I save and refresh. Okay. So button one ends up in that cell. So what you want to do now is you can copy that whole chunk of code with a control C. I'm going to move down just a bit and control V. And that what that does is it creates a second column. And I'm just going to call that button 2. File, save, and refresh. And you see where that places that? Way out here. Okay, because right now we only have two columns. So the first column starts here and ends here, and then the second column starts here and ends here. One thing that we, you might find yourself doing now is, since we saw that this first column starts here and ends here, it would be nice to actually center the information inside of each cell. So instead of centering content within each column, it might be easier to just do it for the row itself. That way you only have to do it one time. So if you come up to the table row tag and just expand that a little bit and just say align equals colon center colon. Now everything inside of this row will be centered. So I'm going to file, save, and refresh. And let's take a look. So right now we have two columns, one here and one here, and whatever information is inside of each column is centered. Great. So now, like we said before, we want to add four buttons. So we want to have four columns. So we have two more columns to build. I'm going to control C to copy, control V to paste, and I'll call this button three. Okay, come down one more and then another control V to paste and I'll just call that one button four. So again, these are automatically going to be centered as well because they are nested inside of this row. Okay, so I'm just going to do one more file, save, refresh, and take a look. Okay, so now late in the next exercise what we'll do is we'll start dropping in some content inside of these tables. We'll practice making a quick banner um, as an image file and we'll drop it into this container and we'll make four simple buttons that we'll place inside of the navigation container. Thanks for watching.